Everybody's uh, very concerned about it, and as somebody who's lived it, um, I just know how uh, easy it is to transmit quickly. Dr. Kelly Barak has firsthand experience when it comes to COVID-19. I was uh, uh, at a curling bond spiel uh, early on uh, during the pandemic, and unfortunately, um, uh, was infected with COVID-19. It was very early that actual day that the bond spiel started was the day that the World Health Organization declared the pandemic. You know, and as healthcare pro providers, we were paying a lot of attention to the recommendations. We were following the, the rec recommendations of the, the day around size of gatherings and things. But I think we underappreciated at that time uh, how absolutely infectious uh, this is. Dr. Burak counts himself lucky, saying his symptoms were mild. Months later, however, he continues to struggle with some lasting effects. Personally, I, I have uh, issues with energy and fatigue that have been, you know, uh, worse uh, since the uh, infections. As a physician, it's, it's uh, sometimes good to have those personal experiences. Now, the Associate Dean of Continuing Medical Education is leading the charge in informing the medical community in Alberta. Physicians uh, and other healthcare providers really need a source of truth uh, to try and uh, stay up to date with the latest developments. So our office uh, has developed a lot of uh, online programming, um, where, which we're bringing to uh, Alberta. And one of the things that's very concerning to me, you know, is, is the fact that it's a younger demographic now that's, you know, really at risk uh, for, um, uh, seems to be uh, getting a lot of the, the cases of COVID. And yes, most of uh, younger people will recover. They won't need to be hospitalized, but I think it's important for them to know that uh, there can be long-term side effects to the infection. As COVID-19 cases rise across the country and we move into the colder fall and winter months, Dr. Barak says this is the time to remain vigilant and to continue to follow safety protocols. Now, he says you should use his own experience as an example. You know, although we took precautions like you know, not shaking hands, wiping down the, the curling equipment between ends. Um, it, it was still, I think, uh, indoor gathering, sharing meals and socializing uh, in the rink after, after the games uh, where there was such a high rate of transmission. Um, and so th those are still lessons to be learned. In Calgary, Ali Miller, City News.